All right, so in this video, we're gonna learn how to name and code teeth. We're also gonna look at um, teeth numbers because every, every uh, tooth is given a specific number um, or letter, depending on which type of dentition we're looking at. So we're gonna look at that today. So let's look at how to name and code teeth. So when we're looking at, um, when we wanna identify one tooth, we have to look at four things. We have to look at what dentition. Is it the baby or primary dentition? Or is it the adult or permanent dentition? Then we look at which arc. Is it the maxillary top arc? Or is it the mandibular bottom arc? Then we look at quadrant. Is it the right quadrant? Is it the left side, left quadrant? And then finally, we end with the tooth name. So for example, if we were to look at, let's bring up our, our um, 3D model here. Let's say we were going to look at the um, canine. Okay, so let's say we're going to look at this canine over here. Well, how do we identify it? Well, the first thing we got to identify is the type of dentition. So is this the per primary dentition or is this a permanent dentition? Check out the number of teeth. In the permanent dentition, we have 32 teeth. We also have premolars. So this is a permanent dentition. If it was a primary, um, we would only have 20 teeth and we would not have premolars. And also it would, the teeth would look a little different. So this is a permanent dentition. So the first thing we need to put for um, our, when we're naming and coding the teeth is the dentition, so permanent because we're looking at the canine, and the canine we we're looking at is from the permanent teeth, from the adult teeth, so permanent. Then we need to look at which arc is it at. So the ones that I was pointing out to you is the top, the maxillary arc. So permanent maxillary, because it's the top. That's because I want, am I outlining this tooth over here? And that's what I want to name. So it maxillary teeth. Then we got to look at, well, which quadrant is it at? Is it the right quadrant or left quadrant? So tell me, when you look at this, is this your client's right or is this your client's left? I can even turn it around so we can understand it better. This is your client's left, right? I know when you look at it here, it's a mirror image, so it might confuse you. It might look like it's the right, but it's actually the client, this person's left. So this is, right, if you look at it this way, this is the client's left. So it's the left quadrant. And then it says, what is the tooth name? Well, we know that this uh, is a canine because canines have that sharp point at the um, tip, right? So how would I name this? This is how I would name it. The permanent, because that's the type of dentition, maxillary, because it's at the top, left, because it's the client's left, canine. Okay. Um, so that's how you name. You could also do the same for, um, this is another example of a primary teeth. So if we're looking at baby teeth, that's primary. Mandibular means it's at the bottom. Right means it's at the right side of the client's mouth. Central incisor, that's the tooth name. So there is an assignment where um, I would give you, you know, a tooth and I would ask you to list out how to exactly write this out. So that, use this example when you're doing that assignment. So when we're looking at how to name and code teeth, there's so many different systems out there. There's the universal, universal system. This is a system that's used um, uh, universally. In Canada, we don't necessarily use this system, but in the States, for example, they use this system. And most of our textbooks are written in this, from the States or are published in the States. So you'll notice that the textbook might use the universal system. There's also the Palmer notation system, which we'll look at. And then there's the one that we use in Canada called the FDI system or Federate, FDI stands for Federation Dentaire International. So here is, I know this is like very confusing when you look at it right away, but this is a really cool diagram that tells you that these are how, so if you look at this, these are the three different systems, dental numbering systems. Universal is in numbers. Palmer, also in numbers, but it has like these, uh, notation, the square, sorry, like the half square that you see, which we'll look at. And then FDI, this is what we use. And so we're going to look at how um, to differentiate the universal from the Palmer from the FDI. 
let's start with the universal. So we need to be familiar with all different types of numbering system. Um, we're going to start with the universal system. So the universal system, the way it works is when you look at your permanent dentition, um, the first number is assigned to the most posterior. Posterior means most back. Okay, so most posterior, the very back molar and that is given the number one so this is like your third molar on the upper right that is given the number one and then you go clockwise and you number every single two so this is number one this is two which is the second molar uh, this is three which is like the first molar this is the first molar this is the second molar and this is the third molar so every single two is given a number so if i were to ask you what number is Okay, so in universal, what number is the maxillary right central incisor? Maxillary right central incisor. So maxillary means top, so it's in the top. Right, so it means it's on this side over here. Central incisor, central incisor is right here. And this is number eight, as you can see here. And how do you know? Well, you have to count from the very back. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight this is the eight now sometimes you know how people um, get their wisdom teeth extracted so let's say all the wisdom teeth are extracted and you only have um, your second molars we still call this two we still would consider this two because one is still considered your third molar so even though you've extracted it this does not become a one the one is always referring to the third molar on the right side so we would still um, you know, call the third molar a one on the upper right, and it's still called a third molar is called 16 on the upper left. Okay, so even though someone has extracted their teeth, we don't, it's not like we would then number this as one, two, three. No, we number one always starts with the third molar, whether you have it or not on the upper right. Okay, if I were to ask you, can you tell me what tooth number is in universal system? Uh, let's do the left mandibular left first molar mandibular left first molar mandibular left first molar what universal system uh, tooth number is it so the left side is here mandibular means the bottom and first molar this is the first molar this is the second this is the third so this is your first molar it would be number 19 okay it would be number 19 so in class we're going to go over some examples like this now, when we're looking at baby teeth, okay, this is a primary dentition, and as you know, primary dentition has um, 20 teeth. It does not have any premolars, it only has molars. Instead of numbers, which is what we did in the universal system, right? Everyone was given, every tooth was given a number. Here, we're doing letters. So the very back on the upper right is A, then B, then C, and so on. Okay, so if I were to say what is mandibular, so let's look at the mandibular right central incisor. What, what, how would you um, identify that to the universal system? Mandibular right central incisor. What letter is given to that? And this is a primary teeth. So if I were to be more specific, it should say primary mandibular right central incisor primary mandibular right central incisor so primary this is primary teeth mandibular mandibular is the bottom right well this is the right side central incisor central incisor is right here p central incisor lateral incisor canine and the molars what about the primary mandibular right second molar? So this one example, this example here. So primary refers to the primary teeth. This is baby teeth. Mandibular bottom. Mandibular refers to the bottom right. So this is the right side second molar. This is your second um, molar right here. Sorry, this is the first molar. This is your second molar. Second molar is given the letter T. Okay, so this is how you identify it. So universal system, it's a numbering system where you identify the permanent dentition in numbers and the primary dentition in letters. Now let's look at Palmer. 
So Palmer notation system is interesting because what they do is they have a vertical and horizontal line in each quadrant. And the way it is identified is each of the four quadrants is given its own quadrant bracket. So if we were, let me see if I can give you an example. If we were to look at the central incisor on the left side, okay, so on the left side, the way you identify the central incisor is you draw a quadrant bracket and you put one. So the central incisor on this side, on the left side, is a one. If I were to say on the left side, side, can you identify the third molar? The third molar, so this is the quadrant bracket, which indicate that it's on the left side, and you, the third molar is given eight. So every two is given a number, one for central incisor, two for lateral incisor, three for canine, four for first premolar, so on, until the third molar, which is an eight, and you give a quadrant bracket, and you put the tooth number. So let's, let's try to put this together. Um, I will show you guys this over here. Okay, let's do, you know what? Let's do the right side. So this is the client's right. So if you look at it this way, this is the client's right side. Okay, so this is the client's right side. If I were to identify every single one of these two, how would you do it? Well, the first one, Maybe I should do a split screen so we can see better, right? Okay, there we go. Let's make this bigger so that you can see better. So this over here, this two over here, this is central incisor on the right side, okay, on the right side. How would you identify this? Well, first you draw a bracket, the quadrant bracket, which looks like this, and then you would say one for this two over here. And we're like, hey, what about the lateral incisors on the top? Again, you draw the quadrant bracket like that because it's referring, this quadrant bracket is referring to the maxillary right side and you put two and you go all the way down, right? All the way till you get to the third molar. What about this side here? What if I wanted to identify the mandibular right first molar? Well, the first thing you do is you draw the quadrant bracket. So the quadrant bracket for the bottom would look like this, because that's identifying. So if you look at all the quadrants, it would look like this. So this quadrant bracket refers to the mandibular right. So that's why I have the mandibular right quadrant bracket here. And we're identifying the first molar. Well, the first molar is the number six. How do you know it's the number six? Because if you look over here, Six refers to the first molar, seven refers to the second molar, eight refers to the third molar. So that's how I know that this two over here is a six because it's the first molar and, it's and this is the quadrant bracket that I'm giving for the mandibular right. When we're looking at the baby teeth, for the um, Palmer notation. The baby teeth, you do the same thing, you give a quadrant bracket, but this time, instead of numbers, you identify it by letters. So for example, let's look at this over here. How would you identify this tooth over here, the right central incisor? Well, first thing you do is you draw a quadrant bracket for that. So the quadrant bracket for the right side would look like this. And then it's the central incisor. Central incisor is given the letter A. So then I would put A. What if I were to do, um, let's see, what if I wanted to identify the molar, okay, the second molar in the primary dentition? And let's say I want to do this one on the left side. Okay, so maxillary left central uh, sorry, second molar. So doing this one here. This is on. I would make the quadrant bracket bracket like this because it's referring to ma maxillary left, and second molar is given the letter E. So that's how I would identify this two over here okay so again when you do the palmer notation or when you use the palmer notation system first thing you got to do is identify the appropriate quadrant bracket and then once you know the appropriate quadrant bracket then put the appropriate letter for the tooth that you're interested in 
All right, the last numbering system we're going to look at is something called FDI system. And this is the one that's most relevant to us because this is what we use in Canada. Um, so what happens with the FDI system is each tooth is given two numbers, two digit numbers. So see how all the numbers are, there's two digits in all number and all the teeth. And the first number, it refers to the quadrant. So if you remember, the way we divide our teeth is we divide it through the midline. Okay, and then we can divide it here too. This is quadrant one, this is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. So if you look at here, the first number in all these areas, as you can see number one, that one refers to quadrant one. On this side, on the left side, the first number refers to the quadrant number, so two. First number refers to the quadrant number, so three. Here, the first number refers to the quadrant four. So that's the first number. The second digit, okay, the second digit depends, it refers to where the tooth is. So if it's a central incisor, it's given a number one. If it's a central, a lateral incisor, it's given the number two. Every tooth is given a specific number. If it's a canine, it's given the number three. If it's the first premolar, it's given the number four. Second premolar is given five, and so on. With the third molar given eight. So if I wanted to identify the, this is the permanent dentition, because it's only for permanent dentition. So the permanent maxillary right second molar, a second, yeah, second molar, let's do that. So the permanent, because these are permanent teeth, maxillary, because this is the max, this is the mand, so maxillary, um, what did I say? Second molar, this is your second molar, this is the first molar, this is your second molar. That is given the number 17, so we don't say 17, we say 171 for quadrant 1, 7 for the seventh tooth in that quadrant, which is the second molar. So what if I, and we'll do some examples in class, so what if I asked you, what is, I'll write it down here and then you can identify. So I'm going to say permanent mandibular left canine. Okay, so permanent means permanent teeth. Mandibular, so now we're looking at the mandibular left. This is the client's left side canine this is the canine so this you would say is the three three okay not 33 we say three for quadrant three and three for the third tooth in that arc which is the canine now when we're looking at baby teeth you'll notice again that with baby teeth in the fdi system we have a different quadrant so you know how we had for adult teeth we had um, quadrant one two three four but with baby teeth we have quadrant five six seven eight that's how we can differentiate whether that's a baby quadrant or a permanent quadrant adult quadrant so baby teeth we identify with quadrant five six seven eight and if you look the first number again identifies which quadrant we're in and the second number identifies the the tooth. So one for central incisor, two for lateral incisor, three for canine, four for first molar, five for second molar. So if I were to say, you know, which tooth is the eight three and you had to write it out, let's do that. So eight three, okay, what does that mean? So for, let's, let's actually write it out using the naming um, encoding system. So first of all, the first thing you do is you identify what type of dentition it is. Okay, so we're going to look at the 83. Well, that is the primary dentition. So primary, then we look at the art. Is it the max art or is it a mandibular art? So primary, mandibular, because it's the bottom that I'm identifying, mandibular, and then we look at the side. Is it the right side or the left side? Well, this is the client's right side. So right. And then we look at the tooth. Which tooth is this? This is the canine. Right canine. So A3 is the primary mandibular right canine. 8 stands for quadrant H. And canine stands for... Um, that's the three, right? So the three comes from the canine, which is the third tooth in that quadrant.